guys and welcome to my second recipe blog. Um, today we are going to make some flourless chocolate chip muffins and they are the bomb. Um, I will say that they're chocolate mixed with peanut butter because they do have peanut butter inside of them and it does have that peanut butter taste. So if you don't like peanut butter, um, you can probably omit or if you prefer like almond butter you can do that um, but I am a huge fan of peanut butter chunky peanut butter is my absolute fave um, definitely not the cleanest on keto but I do dirty keto so I mean whatever works for you um, I'm also going to be using this new legendary um, chocolate covered banana peanut butter that I just bought I haven't tried it yet but I'm gonna um, just like do like one tablespoon of this and then another half tablespoon of that. Um, aside from the peanut butter, you will need a baker's chocolate. You can get this, I got this at Ralph's. Um, I think it was on sale, like two of these for four bucks. Uh, you will also need a Lily's chocolate chip. I have it in this bag. They're like $8 a bag. You can get them at Sprouts, you can get them on Amazon. Um, I know that there's other like no sugar uh, chocolate chips. If you prefer that, you can use those. Three eggs. Sweetener of your choice. Um, on a side note, mong fruit is not my sweetener of choice. I am not a fan. I'm so happy that this bag is about to be finished with this last recipe. Um, I do have my swerve coming on the way, and I love swerve. I swear by swerve. I feel like it tastes the most like actual sugar. Um, definitely my favorite. You will also need some butter, some unsweetened cocoa powder, some vanilla extract to make sure that it's actual vanilla extract and not like imitation um, and some sour cream all right so first we're going to start with three tablespoons of butter um, i like to buy the butter sticks because it has the measurements on them so it just makes it easy to cut as opposed to like measuring it out um, so i'm just going to put this in a microwave safe bowl as so and then the Baker's Chocolate Bar, which I put over there, um, you're going to just use two squares of that. So I cut it. I use a little bit more because I love chocolate. A little bit extra is not going to hurt. Um, you're going to microwave this for a minute in about intervals of 15 to 30 seconds. Just keep checking on it. Make sure that the chocolate doesn't burn. Um, and then once it's done, you're going to set it aside. So this is my chocolate and it's been in there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> for about a minute. Um, it's not melty yet, so I'm going to go put it back in the microwave. God, I'm a klutz. There's one. Honestly, the rest of the bag I have is about six tablespoons, so I'm just going to dump the rest in here, but you measure yours out. Uh, all right. So that's in there. Um, next is going to be a half teaspoon of the baking powder. It's about this much. And then it's going to be one tablespoon, which I have here, of the vanilla extract. And then next is the three eggs. Six tablespoons of the sweetener. Honestly, the rest of the bag I have is about six tablespoons, so I'm just going to dump the rest in here, but you measure yours out. Uh, all right. So that's in there. Um, next is going to be a half teaspoon of the baking powder. So 
about this much. And then it's gonna be one tablespoon, which I have here, of the vanilla extract. And then next is the three eggs. And then last but not least, um, can't forget the melted chocolate with the butter. This is what it looks like melted. Pour that in here. And then last but not least, just gonna mix it all in. Now because this mixture has no flour, um, it can't, it's gonna be very thick, but don't worry, it'll like fluff up just like a regular cup of wood and they're extremely moist. I honestly prefer um, this recipe over doing like a traditional cup cake. So after I mixed all of that like the tonta that I am, I completely forgot um, about the cocoa powder. So it's gonna be one third cup of cocoa powder. Um, and it's cool, I'm just gonna put it in there and then just let everything mix again. So if you forget any ingredients like I, my dumbass does, everything is super fixable. Unless it's buttercream frosting, if you fuck that up, there's no way to like go back for that. And I'll show you guys that on a different episode. So since I added the cocoa powder last, um, I do kind of need to incorporate it. This this uh, mixture is thick, so I'm just scraping down on the sides, um, mixing it in, and then I'm just going to let it go for like another two or three minutes or so until everything is blended. You also want to scrape on the bottom. Um, sometimes some of the ingredients will get stuck, um, so you just want to make sure everything is mixed before you put them in your cupcake um, tins. Alright, next you want to make sure that you um, preheat your oven at 350. While that's heating up, um, here I have another one third cup of the Lily's chocolate chips. This is optional, but I absolutely love chocolate um, and I love chocolate chip muffins and being able to have the actual chocolate chips inside. So I'm just going to put this mixture in and then just let that mix for like another 30 seconds. Um, that way it doesn't break down the chocolate chips, but it's well incorporated within the mixture. Okay, so this is what the mixture looks like when it's done. Again, like I mentioned, it's pretty thick. Um, but I actually really like this consistency, especially when I'm putting it into like the cupcake tins. Um, these are the silicone molds that I use. I bought these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, came in a pack of 24. I like them because they're reusable. Um, they're not aluminum. And they're already like, I wouldn't say pre-greased, uh, pre but they definitely make it easy to like just pop the muffin or the cupcake out um, without having to put like any butter or any Pam or anything like that. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to fill these, um, not all the way, but you know, leaving a little bit of space so that when they puff up, they don't like overflow. Okay, so you're just going to grab a muffin tin, cupcake, silicone mold. And you're just going to scoop the mixture in. And then clean up any thing that might have coming off. Should look about like this. I fill them to about that much. I 
and you're just going to keep doing that until all of the mixture is obviously in a muffin tin. I know most people like to use like an ice cream scooper. I guess it's like way easier. Um, I, like I mentioned in my last video, I'm very cheap, um, very easy. I like to keep things to minimal. I'll use the same spoon scooping out stuff. I just like rinse it off, wash it really quick. Um, I don't like to have thousands of dishes to end up having to do at the end of like my baking and cooking. Um, so I just keep things very simple. The type of spoon that I'm using is just a really small spoon. Um, so that way it just makes it easier, less messy when I'm scooping and I'm putting the mixture into the, the mold. And this mixture is just so creamy, like peanut butter. I prefer chunky peanut butter, but I mean, it just resembles like that creamy peanut butter. And it smells like it too, so. Perf. Okay, so that mixture made me about nine um, cupcake molds or muffin molds. Um, so there they are, and the oven already beeped, set to 350. Just going to go ahead and pop those in for about 12 to 15 minutes, all depends on your um, oven. Just keep checking on them periodically, and once you see them rise and not look like as gooey, then they'll be done. This is what the finished product looks like. You see how they raised up? And I'm just going to break one apart so you can see. So delicious in the inside. My personal preference is to eat these warm. I feel like they taste the best. Um, so, you know, obviously after they cool down, if you want to eat one, I just microwave one in the um, microwave for about 30 to 15 to 30 seconds. And they are perfect. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you make them.